Hello, uh, my name is John O'Hara from Palma Cisco. I'm the Chief Instructor Sale and also the instructor for the Yacht Master Theory course, which I believe you're going to join very soon. I thought I'd send you a quick introduction to say hello and to prepare you for the week that you've got coming up. It's a very intense week. The more you can do in advance, the easier that week is going to be. So first of all, get yourself some passport photographs. That's going to take a lot of stress out of your week. Um, you'll need probably three. One for your radio license, if you haven't got that one. Uh, one for your Yachtmaster application form for the exam. And a third one, if you're going to commercially endorse your Yachtmaster license. So that's three. Get four. Why not? Get yourself a big notepad and pen. Something about that thick, that big. Fantastic. You're going to fill that notepad during the entire week. Speaking of the radio license, make sure you've got one. And if you haven't got one, get yourself online and do the RYA online radio exam and course. Uh, it's an essential. You must have it. And if you can do it all before you come to Palma to start your training with us, you'll find that that week again becomes much easier for you. If you need a independent radio exam, I can do that for you whilst you're with us. Uh, you must also have, of course, your current uh, up-to-date first aid certificate, which you probably have through your STCW 95 certificate. If that's not up-to-date or you don't have one, again, get online or speak with Joe at the school and she can help you sort something out. As I said, it's a, a very intense week. It's all taught in English, so if English is not your first language, maybe start watching some English movies, listening to English radio, speaking with your friends in English because you will be immersed in English for the entire duration of the week. The more knowledge you come to the school with on day one, the easier the week is going to be for you. You won't be bored, trust me. If you can familiarize yourself with the IALA voyage system, reds, greens, preferred channel markers, isolated danger mark, uh, etc. That's really going to help you. What are the light sequences on each of those marks? You should know. Uh, also, the vessel's navigation lights. Have a look at them. Constrained by draft, restricted in ability to maneuver, um, fishing and trolling and pilot vessels. Go over the notes, get on Google, uh, go on YouTube. There's so much information out there for free. Um, you can certainly find the answers to pretty much all of the questions. What are the day signals for those particular vessels we just talked about? Is it cans or cones? Uh, ball, diamond, ball? Uh, is it a flag? Uh, check them out, try and remember them before you come. What are the sound signals for those vessels in both clear and restricted visibility or fog? Uh, they're all online. Uh, get yourself online and find the answers. And please at least come with a good working knowledge of the international collision regulations. If you say you're already a skipper with more than two and a half thousand miles at sea and five days as skipper and five passages over 60 miles, you should at least know the collision regulations, the basics. We'll be going through everything in a lot of detail when you actually get to the school. It's an intense week. Come fresh, not with a hangover, and I'll see you at 8.45 on the morning of your course. See you then.